I would be thrilled to talk with Helen Hayes anytime on any subject, but I'm especially happy to be talking with you today in Hollywood. First of all, Ms. Hayes, to be able to tell you personally that the interview I had with you and Anita Luce had marvelous response. And I'm just happy to be able to tell well, you. Thank you. Person. Well, it had good response from us while we were doing it. We enjoyed it very much. Yes, it was about your book, Twice Over mm -hmm. Lightly. Delightful mm -hmm. reading, and uh, I hope it's still selling well for you. Well, it's going along fairly well. It, uh, it reached 50,000, and then it sort of uh, stood still there for a while. But uh, they say it'll go on again. And we hope so. I because hope we so. Enjoy, we enjoy doing it. We enjoy reading it. <laughs> And I hope you enjoyed touring around telling people about it. But what we're really here in, in Hollywood to talk about is the new series starring Helen Hayes and Mildred Natwick, and it's called The Snoop Sisters. Who are the Snoop Sisters? A couple of Snoops. <laughs> uh, one of them, the character that I play, is a mystery writer who has been snooping around for material, I assume, I, this is the way I figured it, and ends up uh, a, 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 a real compulsive snoop. She can't keep her nose out of things. And, uh, and the other one, uh, G, I'm Ernesta, and G is uh, Mildred Natwick, and she is, um, the, she aids and abets Ernesta, who is the ringleader. Now, it was a world premiere movie. Uh -huh. and, and at that time, did you know that it would become a series? No, no. Uh, it had such good response when they showed it that um, they, they phoned us and said, will you um, consider letting us sell it as a um, series? And we were very happy. Did you instantly say yes or did you say, oh, I don't know if I want to get into a <laughs> into TV series? series? <laughs> no, no. We instantly said yes because we'd both uh, become conditioned to the idea that it was the thing to do. It's hard to find plays, and um, um, Mildred had been uh, looking for plays and uh, not been successful, didn't like what she found. And we were both very happy to do this. We, when you've been serving the public for all the years that we have, you don't want to lose touch with them. And this is a way of keeping, um, we hope, uh, serving the public. Is this going to be a terribly arduous thing for you ladies? I don't think so. It'll be such fun. They're very amusing scripts, and uh, we hope that uh, we'll laugh our way through it all. <laughs> In today's youth-oriented market, Miss Hayes, does this place a greater burden on you and Miss Natwick? You know, because television has to try to appeal to that mass audience. Yes. Uh, I haven't any idea. That side of it I wouldn't know about. I just uh, will enjoy making them, and... Uh, pray that uh, the public is merciful and comes to and turns them on. I don't know. I have never known a time when the public was not responsive <laughs> to Helen Hayes. Doesn't that make you terribly proud? Yes, it does. At my age, I'm, no, I, I stand any, and wonder at the whole thing. Any age for anybody when you're well, well accepted. Well, to have had it last this long is a great blessing, and I'm very grateful for it. Had you ever worked with Miss Natwick before? Uh, no. Oh, yes, we did one other television a show together with uh, Myrna Loy and Sylvia Sidney. There were four oh, yes, of I us. remember that. Yes. What we, was that called? I uh, forget. Don't. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have Don't fold, that. spindle, or <laughs> mutilate, or something like that. It was a big <laughs> title that I can't remember. Something to do with computers. I, I should never ask questions like that because if you turned it around and said to me, Bobby, who did you interview last Friday? I wouldn't <laughs> have a clue. Not a clue. Tell us about your, your son, James MacArthur. Oh, now, now you. We don't have time. Oh, yes, we do. I, <laughs> I could talk for I, hours. I saved two minutes just for that because oh, I... Oh, he's a fine young man. And, I have and isn't he him. successful and isn't it great? You know, all my life I've uh, been looked at by the public wherever I've gone when I was out here making films and then when I was a star in the theater. But now I had the most pleasure I ever had in my life because I go out with Jim and nobody knows I'm there and they just go crazy about him. He has a tremendous uh, um, response from the public. Isn't it wonderful? He is a lovely boy. Do you uh, know what I remember most about meeting James MacArthur and interviewing him was on the movie Spencer's Mountain. That uh -huh. goes back about you 12, bet. 13 years ago. And I remember that, you know, most children of famous 
parents uh, always get a little testy with the press if you you know kind of he was so eager to talk about his mother <laughs> and I thought it we was have just a like very it. good relationship and I'm so grateful for him and for the whole thing yes as a matter of fact at one point I you know kind of saved it till the end and he said I thought you were never going to ask ah, isn't that nice it really he's is. a charming fellow all those people who work with him down there love him so in Hawaii do you, and the public does. Do you go to see him in Oh, Hawaii? yes. We're going to have a week off during the filming of these, um, these uh, series, of this series, and I will go down there, yes. Miss Hayes, as always, it is so lovely to have a chance to talk with you. Thank you. And we wish you the best of success with the Snoop Sisters. Thank you. Bless Thank you. Thank you. Mildred. Still shots. Oh, fun trip, I really <laughs>